Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of... Oh, Nick Mama and Mummy Man! Nick Mama and Mummy Man. Hope you're doing well. well. Got my little Riley boy here Hi. today. Um, you've not been very well, have you? Yeah, me and Rice are not well today. Not me very well at all. A bit of a cold. Just had his COVID jab, his first one, because he's allowed to have it. And... Issue, Joshua, issue, uh, Joshua is holiday. Yeah, Ethan and Josh are on holiday there in America, Disneyland, or Disney World, one or the other. And uh, you've been spinning doors, not very well, with a bit of a cold. And uh, that's that's about it. That's all we've been doing. Um, oh, we've been to the dentist as well. Yeah, been to the dentist first time in two years because the dentist was closed. But uh, you were a very good boy, weren't you? I eat it a yellow toothpaste. Yeah, yeah special Daddy paste. Daddy my toe. Yeah, very, very, very special paste on your teeth, didn't you? So, <clears throat> uh, been very, very busy in the old shed of late. Uh, not done a lot of recording. We have just got over these uh, three or four storms that have come into the UK. We've got lots of fence damage, but fortunately, none of them are mine. Uh, so that's good. Uh, it's still very, very windy. We've got another storm approaching, apparently. Storm um, Gladius or something. I'm not quite sure. Got that coming up. But today, um, on the bench, we're going to have a little tiny plastic sovereign, which I've done two or three beforehand. This belongs to my good friend James, um, who I work with. It's his it's his mum's, I think. And uh, he said the lawnmower owes her nothing. It's a bit rough around the edges, but I think the pull cord has snapped and it wants a bit of a, bit of a tidy up, a bit of a clean up and what have you. And uh, I don't know if it runs uh, with the pull cord fix or not. I have no idea. But uh, he put it in the back of the old van and I bought it at home. I said, I'll look at it and get, try and get it to run for him. As I say, it owes his, owes his mum absolutely nothing at all. And uh, I said, yeah, I'll have a look at it. If I can get it to run, then we're on a winner. If not, I'll try and sell him one. But we'll see how we get on. If it's your first time watching Mixed Mother Man, man, hit your subscribe button, whack your old bell. Ding. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. Let's look at the little sovereign lawnmower Mama. that comes from my mate James and belongs to his mum, Mama. and uh, she wants it fixed. Is it? Right, right, we're going to get the lawnmower in. I have just rigged up um, two, you know those lights I did in a video recently? I've just bought some, um, oh, right, buddy boy, two seconds, just bought some new booms for these to go on. Uh, one is just over yonder. Let me just uh, spin the camera around. One's just over here on a boom, which is quite nice. And I also have another one over the far side near the door. So hopefully that will improve your uh, your viewing. And uh, let me get the lawnmower in with Riley boy. Coming. <clears throat> Yep. Let's uh, undo that. That's it. You wheel it up there then. That's it. In the door. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. You can do it. That's it. Right. In they go with it. See a mama, guys. That's it. There's a lawnmower. Now, it's not very heavy. You're not heavy. No, it's all plastic. A budget. Yeah. It's here. You know we're in the work. Yeah. But it's, it's just a bit rough around the edges and the pull cord is broke. That's perfect, righty. Let's just get repositioned a little tiny bit just so we can uh, see what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, you can pump it up, mate. You pump it up whilst Daddy gets the light and sort it out. Hang on, I've just got just to do the upper touch like that. All right, now pump. Away you go, pump it up. Does it work? It does work. Keep pumping, pumping, pumping. Keep pumping. That's it, there you go. Oh, yeah? That's going up. And then I've got these new lights set up now, which I can now fully adjust as well to where I want it. So let's get all set up here. And then... Uh, then we're rock and roll, I suppose. Okay, so we're all set up, and uh, hopefully um, you'll agree that the lighting is actually 100% um, better um, with the, uh, the new light I've, I've now purchased and oh, I've got from Mrs. P. Um, P? Yeah, mummy. Uh, the, uh, the lighting should uh, should improve your viewing quality, I hope. Um, I think it has. I'm very happy with it. So, right, let's get a 10 mil. So first things first, Riley. Um, pull cord. Pull cord, let's get a magnet tray. Yeah, easy. That's easy, let's put the nuts into there so we don't lose them. There you go. There you go. Okay, so this that can come eye. off. And this hopefully this isn't broken. Is your broken I've got daddy? a feeling it's just literally come, un come unwound. Wow. That's what I think. Maybe it's There's the pull cord. I think that string's just going to come off of there. 
Yeah, see so that's just snapped right at the very, very base here. So that's cool. Hopefully the spring is not damaged. Um, if it is, we'll have to either renew the spring or um, get a new pull cord cover for it, but uh, hopefully we'll be all right. So what's about seven feet of pull cord because it's got to go around the pull cord and then it's got to go... Um, about or here? Got to go up to the handle as well. Now I have got some of my tools which are evading me because I've been busy in the workshop this morning. Uh, mucking about trying to find uh, bits and pieces. So let me just find my Nipex snippers. All right, found them. They were evading me. So what about seven feet of pull cord, uh, give or take. So I just hold it by the floor and up to around about the lights with a better foot extra on top. Yeah, hold it. Give that a hold them. What do you do? They're snips. They are very, very sharp. So mind your fingers. You yeah, I'm going to put your fingers in there because uh, you'll, uh, you'll feel that. <clears throat> then I want to get my lighter. It should be in one of my pockets. <laughs> there it is. Just want to melt the end of this off. Elf yourself, it comes back from the North Pole today. Yeah. Who is? Elf yourself. Elf and Michelle's come back from the North Pole, is he? I don't think he is. Yeah. Right, so with this pull cord, I'm not sure if it's actually broken. What's it, Daddy? Or what's going on with it? I ship now. Is it going to call or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look. So it's not actually calling at all. So either the spring has snapped. Yeah. Or it's just come away from its come away from its housing. So there's a flat edge screwdriver in there, screw in there, you have to remove that. <clears throat> Two seconds, Riley lad. Hello. Yep. Are you popping? Uh, not calling today because uh, Pete's uh, got other things on today, I think. Look, Daddy Pete call you. It might call me later on, we'll see. Okay. How would you see? We'll see. We'll see what we'll just see what happens. So a flathead driver in here, Ooh. it'd be a left hand thread Ooh. and we're going to undo this screw Ooh. and the screw comes out. Now you have to go a bit carefully here because uh, the spring could jump up and bite you. Me? There it is. So what's happened inside here is the spring is actually bent over mm. and it's just ready to jump out and bite me now. So we go a bit carefully here. It goes that way. Push that spring down so he doesn't come out and bite me. And this little tiny end of a spring just here, see how it's, how, how it's gone straight? That needs to be bent slightly round, back, back round to where it belongs. So let's get a pair of snips, a little pair of red handles. I'll hold you by hand. Now I've got them here, buddy, different ones. Oh, yeah, and all yeah. I want to do is that back one there, I just want, just want to bend that round. Now they do, they do tend, to have a, tend to snap, so you have to go a bit careful with them. So just get a hold of it and just try and ease that back into its more natural position. It's gonna be about there. Now it could have, it could have um, done that because um, the pull cord may have been very, very short originally. And um, they may have pulled it too hard and just stretched the actual spring itself. But that little tiny um, bend has got to feed itself inside the little tiny groove just here, okay? So that's what we've got to do. Put them down, buddy boy, because they're a bit dirty. Don't don't near, near, near your old mush. What do you know? And now what we've got to do is put this um, spring. See how it's sent, uh, sat in the centre? Uh, that's ideal because you want to see it when it goes down to here. So yeah. we want to literally guide it into place, which is going to be around about there. There it goes. Here's just drop down. And then this oh. piece here can now go back into its little tiny grooves. Yeah like so, yeah. and then that little tiny screw can then sit down to there, and then we do that little tiny screw up, and that'll be done up anti-clockwise. So no need for a new spring, we hope. Is there one more coming? Eh? Is there one more coming? Is it what, mate? Is there one more coming? Is it coming? No, I think you're coming. My tummy? More more. What about my tummy? That warmer. What's that? Um, is your warmer white? Yeah, it's fine. Just got to try and screw this down so it bites. What bites? Because I don't like to bite. You don't let you put a bit of pressure on them. You wrong, Daddy. Yeah, I try to be. Right, so that's that um, screw now in place. I've got my, my pull cord ready, um, just across across my lap, ready to ready to fit that. So now that spring should have now fitted. Just remember, when you pull the cord, you're pulling it out this way, and it will retract back the other way. That's all we need to remember. 
So now, by rights, if we call this spring up, it should... It should... Coil round. And you'll feel the tension just come up, come up to you. So just go a bit easy. And when you start to feel that tension, get, get, just get quite tight. It will tell you when to stop. It will tell you around about there. So you, you can feel the tension doesn't need any more. Once you've got that tension in place, you'll be able to hold this, hold this device all together. Do not let go of it, because you'll be in for a little bit of surprise if you do. You can then put this bit of cord through the hole, and then it will go through the side of the pull cord assembly, just like so. Keep holding it, don't let go, okay? And then tie a one-handed lawnmower professional knot. All lawnmower blokes can tie a one-handed professional knot. Doesn't it be any way you like for now, it's not critical. And just pull that back, just so it doesn't go through and pull it tight. And then just snip the end of that off, okay? Just like uh, about there, should be fine. All the time you're not letting go, okay? If you let go, it'll bite you. So, right of just gone indoors. He'll be back in a minute, no doubt. So, with that now done, we can now slowly let go of um, this recoil assembly. Just keep hold of the string, though, okay? Don't, don't let go of that string. And that will feed its way all the way, all the way in. And then you can see how that, how that cord is now working correctly, okay? Now, we have, um, do have a pull cord handle for this. So what I want to do is I want to tie another little, just another little knot in here very quickly. Just a bit of a slip knot, just so it stops it from feeding all the way in whilst I put it, whilst I put it down, okay? I'm gonna put that down. Now somewhere in the shed, I don't know where it is, it might be in the bag behind you. I've got the actual pull cord handle for that. Let me go and find that, two seconds. Right, um, found the original pull cord that came with it. Um, I need my lighter back, wherever that is. Um, the, the main reason that these pull cords fail on these cheap machines is because they're made of, they, they, they give you cheap, Cheap, uh, cheap pull cord. That's the main reason. They, 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 don't, they don't weather very well. And they're just made of cheap materials. But I use uh, I use Rockwood is the one I use. Uh, it's, it's quite a good quality pull cord, actually, for what it is. And this is three millimeter in this one. I'm gonna put that in there now. And let you just tie that off. Right, I'm getting lots of phone calls because uh, my, my, my old man, he's got due to have his, uh, his knee operations just come through. So he's, he's been ringing me up every three seconds because he's got appointments to, to write down and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep ducking out of the camera because uh, my dad keeps ringing me up, but uh, he's got a, a very, very, very busy march ahead of him. So that's good. Right, put a, a double knot in there, a little granny in that one. Put, that goes in there. Now if it's not here, that, that should just pull out like so. And then you've now got a fully working um, pull cord which we're now, uh, we can now fit back onto here. Now, as I say, I don't know if this machine runs or it don't run. I've got absolutely no idea at all. Uh, James said it used to run, uh, but then you know, we have all heard that before, um, but I suspect it does. I have used quite thin uh, pull cord rope because that's what was in here originally. No point putting in a 3.5 in this one because the recall assembly won't, won't take it. Uh, he did say he wants a new air filter cover, which I've got a new one. I've got, I've got some second hand ones. I'll probably find one for him though. No drive, he's got a bit of a, looks like his mum's stockings around there at the moment, that's cool. Um, so I don't know if it actually will start or not. Should we just try and get a little fire? Because it's got everything it needs in it. Um, let's have a quick check for petrol. Oh, that's done up tight too. Let's just have a quick little check. Let's just drop a little bit of fuel in there. Just a smidgen, just to wet the old whistle. Well, that can go on to there. Let's put that fuel cap down. There it goes. So these are mass produced in the UK, these little engines. Very cheaply made, but they don't sell for a lot of money and you can buy them very, very cheap as well. Let me just back up a touch because I want to pull this, uh, pull this engine over. Make sure you're in shot, which you are. Um, let's see if it do anything then. Uh, a few of the cables had a bit of a fix up here as well. I don't know what's going on with that. We'll figure that out in a minute. But dead man seems to be working. Uh, let's, let's prime that. We're getting a bit of, bit of stale fuel can smell coming through. Let's give it a good prime. Let's just check the oil as well, which is typical of SV150. The funnel always comes off 
away from the, uh, the actual mower. So that's standard with these. <coughs> Let's poke that back down in there again. We get a pair of long nose mole grips. Oh. That wind's getting back up again. <laughs> I'm just gonna just just gonna turn that on nice and tight. All right, dipstick out. And a rag. Just want to check. Just want to check for oil. That's all. Just want to make sure it's got something. It's a flathead machine, so screw it all the way in. Here comes my rider boy. I can hear him winging his way down the old shed. Absolutely bang on for oil, absolutely where it needs to be, which is good. Hi, Pete. <clears throat> right, let's just fire this machine up a touch here. Eh? Right, out of the way, Riley boy. Daddy. Yep. Is it Pete? Yeah, two seconds. Hi, let's uh, prime that. Let's see what it do. I might have, I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to boss you. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm just going to get some magic. This, this is magic spray uh, called WD-40. Even Harry Potter uses this. All right. Harry Potter, yeah, he uses that. Just going to give it a bit of a soak up there. I suspect. It's all gunked up. So let, let that soak. I'm going to get my air compressor and then just blow that off. I haven't got any air in my tank. Have I have a little bit of air in my old tank. I haven't been down here for a couple of days because we've, we've had these storms. Let me just blow that off. Let's see if that makes any difference. Just, just a build up of, of gunk and grime. So, all right, let's give it another pull. One more time. Let's try one more time. Is that that rather boy? Okay, it's still not revving as high as I would like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it up again and then remove the pull cord very, very gently so I can then see what's actually happening underneath this... Um, this flywheel and around by the carburetor assembly. So I wouldn't recommend doing this yourself if you're a bit of a novice, but I've done it hundreds of times, so just bear with me. Okay, so one thing I did notice is as I spray some um, some GT85 down inside here, it did dip a little tiny bit as well. So I just want to double check and make sure the carburetor bolts are actually done up nice and tight and we don't have no leaks coming out. 
um, because it is a sign, but uh, already just by just by cleaning that area up there and also that spring, I can see that spring's actually not uh, doing its job either, actually. That spring should be over yonder. That's, that's the reason. That spring should be there. That's better. Okay, uh, yeah, just want to double check those, uh, those bolts are up nice and tight. Yeah, a little bit loose. That'll help. So let me put the pull cord back on and then we'll go again. Right. <laughs> right, pull cord's back on. Uh, got the air filter there. Uh, carburetor bolt's done up. I have just found this in the, uh, in the bin of many things. Uh, that should. That should go on there, I think. If it's the right one, it should do. They're all about the same. Yeah, there you go, look. There you go. Even got, it's even got a primer bolt stick on it too, but it's made for that. Um, right, now let's fire up again. See what it do. Yeah, happy with that. Um, that'll do. But they don't. They don't rev a massive amount. There's are only little tiny, little tiny engines on the here. Um, he did give me a little bag of bits as well, I believe. Um, bits that probably fall off. He's also giving me a couple of shears as well. He wants some garden shears for me to to sharpen a bits and pieces too. But he has got here the exhaust um, cover as well because there's no exhaust on it. But the exhaust cover actually is broke. I think it's actually broke. Let's see, I might be get it on. Okay, but might, might be fit that on there. Yeah, and just try and adapt it to take a bolt. Maybe with a couple of washers. I oh, know it's actually broke, look. Mm. Right, I still can find a spare exhaust cover for that as well to make that fit. Let's see if I, how I get on. Right, so I've got, I found a couple of spares. Oh, that's gonna be a six mil, isn't it? Oh my Lord. That's even smaller than a smaller. The next one I'm gonna get is a seven mil, no doubt. Yeah, I'm gonna try a seven, but I think it'll be a six or quarter inch, oh, six will do it. Right, <clears throat> so I have found one. It's not, it's not, it's not the, uh, the same sort of thing, but I think it came out of my SV150 box. So we'll take that off. Don't lose the old nut mix, we're gonna keep that. That's a broken bit off of there, that may do that. And then you've got a nut uh, all the way up here, which is, which is gonna be an eight mil, eight or 10. It's a problem working with these machines. They, they, they just change, they change, their, change their sizes more times I've changed my pants. Um, that should be that one then. So we take that off. That exhaust is very, very hot. So always got to be careful when you work on machines that you just recently fired up. And you've got a little tiny clip here, which is part of the, uh, the bit that come off of that one. And I found this one in my arsenal. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm sure it's off a 150 as well. I, think I can get that to go up into there. That can go into there. Yeah, what do you reckon? That'd do us, won't it? That'd do us. Let's uh, let's try and make it fit. It should have an exhaust guard on it anyway. Let's try and make that go into there. If I can. Something like that. Right, we're happy with that. And then that can go onto there. Yeah, we're happy with that. Oh, I'm quite pleased with that. So it should have an exhaust guard on it anyway, because you know, you know, woman's using it. Not saying a woman, but uh, you know, someone's using it, and it could quite easily you know, burn their legs and what have you. So it's not, it's not good. I don't know. James is not the most intelligent man in the world, so if ever he uses it, he'd probably burn himself. All right. There you go. What's a bolt up there? I think. There's a, there's a, a feature for it. Let's just tighten up a touch as well. Lovely. Right, so that should do that. Get rid of that one. It's nice, nice and cool. So that's got a nice exhaust guard on there. It's not the one for it, but it'll do. Um, you know me, guys. Safety first. Um, so that's all that done. All I've now got to do is whip the blade off, sharpen and balance, um, and up the top, the drive cable is just a bit screw whiffed. That's all. I think it just wants repositioning. That's all. So let me get that done, sharpen and balance, and when I come back, we'll take it outside. Give it its final run and we'll go from there.
Okay, all done. So I have to have to take the spark plug out, clean that. It didn't have a new one because it's not in for service. Um, but it's had blade sharp and balanced, spark plug cleaned, air filter cover put on, new pull cord. I did adjust the carburetor a bit more as well. Uh, new uh, second hand heat shield. I sorted out the drive as well, just a handle. Um, that's about it really. So let's give it a little prime. It should now run a bit better. You will get a lot of wind interference because we are, we are having a storm approaching, so uh, there will be some of that going on. And the drive now will work as well. But it'll do the job. Okay, bish bash bosh. That's that little sovereign lawnmower now all up and running for my little mate James. Well, not quite so little, but that's another story. Um, uh, so I cleaned the spark plug, that's all been cleaned up and tidied up. New pull cord, um, oil was fine, blade sharp and balanced, pull cord done. Uh, sorted out the drive issue as well, adjust the carburetor too. It was just a little bit low uh, on, the, on the tuning, so I have to just sped it up just a little tiny bit because they do need to cut on impact and uh, those little cheap uh, mass-produced Wuhan uh, sovereign lawnmowers, they, they don't run very well, but that doesn't run too bad for that one, but just want to just top up this little tiny touch. You know what, buddy? Yeah. Where you been then? Cuddle with you. You want to cuddle with me? I'm not cuddling you. We're yeah. going to get something to eat. Are you, have you had lunch already? Mm. Have you had lunch? Mm. Do you have some of Daddy's special chicken? Uh, oh, I eat your dad's chicken. You, yeah. You've been eating my chicken? Not yet. When? Oh, I eat it already yet. You've eaten, you haven't eaten it yet. We'll have a blessing in a minute. Stop picking your nails. Um, so that's all done. So super, super cool. If you liked the episode of Mixed Mother Man, Man, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell. Ding. That way you'll be told next time we upload another video. I look forward to seeing this episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take care easy. Not there's your dinner. <laughs>